Welcome to Is It True? from St Peter's Harold Wood Youth Team. I'm John. This time, is Jesus just a legend? John Lennon was one of the Beatles, and he was known for speaking out for peace and love in the world. The picture of him from a distance is of a good man, a modern day legend, a saint. But when we get close, we see a very different picture. His son has said that he didn't know his dad as loving at all and has called him a hypocrite. John preached love and peace in the world, but there was no love and peace at home. It is often the case that from a distance we can think that someone is wonderful, perfect even. But when we get close and we listen to those who really know the person, we see their imperfections and flaws. We have this picture of Gandhi, for example, a good man, a great man. But those closest to him knew he wasn't perfect. He too was deeply flawed. He too, for example, treated those closest to him, his family, very badly. We could go on in our lists. Princess Di, Mother Teresa, even the best Bible characters like David or Abraham. When we get close, we see their self-centred behaviour, their hypocrisy and their sin. So what about Jesus Christ? Does he just look good from a distance? Is it only because we're separated in space and time that we think he was such a good man and even the God man? Is that just a legend? What happens when we get close? Jude was a brother of Jesus and he wrote these words about his brother. Jesus, who saved a people out of the land of Egypt. Here Jude calls his own brother the God of the Old Testament. He says, that is my brother you read about there. Big brother Jesus is the creator God. Elsewhere, Jude even calls Jesus our master and Lord. Now Jude had seen Jesus grow up. He knew him better than anyone. He'd played with him, he'd eaten with him, he'd probably gone to school with him and to synagogue with him, and he calls him God. To do that means at least he had never seen a flaw, never seen a hint of hypocrisy never seen a sin, never seen an imperfection in his character. He saw no hint of darkness, only light in big brother Jesus. Now maybe with the distance of hundreds of years or thousands of miles, you might might be able to convince a gullible person that a distant myth of a man was God at the same time. Maybe you might persuade, persuade someone who had never met Jesus that he was divine, but his family, his own brother, You see, the eyewitnesses to Jesus' life, death and resurrection were convinced that he was not merely human. They thought that he was God as well. Now, not just Jude. Another brother of Jesus called James called him Lord. His mum Mary sings about him before his birth, that he will be her saviour. And his friends came to worship him as the Messiah. It just doesn't seem convincing that Jesus fooled so big a group of people that were so close to him that he was God in human flesh. You can convince maybe a group of people for a short time that you're something you're not, but eventually, with time, we get to know those closest to us and we see their flaws. Yet these people who had grown up being taught that there was one God came to believe that their brother, their son, their friend was God in the flesh. When we consider Jesus, it is not a legend that we read. It is the testimony of those who knew him best, those closest to him, who would have known if there was any hypocrisy in him, and yet were convinced that he was who he claimed to be, the Son of God.